plants have many natural defense systems. We're going to talk about one of them today called allelopathy. Basically what allelopathy is, is when a plant puts out chemicals, its own natural chemicals, into the soil to prevent other plants from growing. Where I first heard about this was, I don't even remember, probably back in junior high or high school, something like that, and somebody had a problem with an alfalfa field. And I just figured, oh, they could just go plant alfalfa. And then somebody told me, no, you can't just plant alfalfa onto alfalfa. Don't you know anything? There's allelopathy. And I go, what? What's allelopathy? Well, basically, alfalfa plants are, are putting this chemical into the soil so no more alfalfa plants grow. So a lot of times if you want the best stand of alfalfa, you've got to wait probably a year before you can put another stand in if your first stand didn't go very well or if you have to tear it out. Well, allelopathy is a, is a pretty interesting thing. And when you look at some natural defense system like this, well, naturally, man would try to copy it. We look at a plant like the colistamone tree and there now is a chemistry that simulates that allelopathy that the colistamone tree has. So the, that tree would kill all the plants around it that were trying to, to compete with it. Scientists found what substance that was. Now they've duplicated that substance and we use a herbicide called Callisto, creative name there, right, from the colistamone tree, to, to do the same thing to control weeds in our fields. Once again, allelopathy is simply a plant putting a natural chemical out into the soil to prevent other plants from growing. Sometimes it's plants of its own species, but sometimes it can be other plants as well. And the whole point is to reduce competition so it has the best chance to grow, survive, and reproduce. Well, if you want your crop to have a good chance to grow and survive, you'll need to control our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed?